clear night, I love to look up at the sky and search for one specific planet. It looks as small as a dot. Some of you may call it the red planet or Mars. I call it home. My earliest memory was at three years old. I was watching a cartoon where these creature friends would go on imaginary adventures in their backyard. One of the episodes was a mission to Mars. It looked so exciting, I went running to my dad to find out if humans had really gone to Mars. He told me that man had gone to the moon, but not Mars. But it would be my generation who would go to Mars and become the Mars generation. At that moment, something in my heart got awakened. Even at three years old, I realized I was born on planet Earth with a mission to be one of the first to land on the red planet, my home. Since then, I have dedicated my life to training, learning, and teaching, and I'm taking all of the necessary steps required and work hard every day in order to make this dream a reality. Now, every time I talk about this mission, I'm always asked, why should humans go to Mars? And how will this help change the world? Now, the first thing that comes to my mind when I hear these questions is actually an ancient Greek proverb. A society grows great when old men plant trees whose shade they know they shall never sit in. This proverb teaches us the importance of planning ahead for future generations. Our ancestors have explored and made our world a better place to live in, and the mission to Mars will do the same. Now, in my journey, I have been blessed with many experiences. One of my proudest moments was actually at age 12, being selected to the NASA MER-10 panel to discuss future missions to Mars in the 2030s. The other panelists were PhDs and an astronaut. And it was so great of them to have wanted to hear from me, the journey I had been on, my dream to go to Mars, and how I was planning on doing that. This experience helped launch my dream even higher. Since then, I have learned many lessons, and I'd like to share three of them with you guys today. So one, what is your out-of-this-world dream? Each one of us is born with a special talent, a unique dream or aspiration. Now, I'm always surprised to hear that people block these seeds of dreams and give up on their dreams due to fear and worry. Also, to my surprise, is the number of adults that look back at their lives, only to wish they had worked to follow their dream from an early age. My story, my dream, that in 2033, I hope to achieve, is the mission to Mars. My dream is out of this world, literally. What about you? What is your dream that is out of this world? And what are you doing to launch your mission? Two, we are all one. As part of my training, I've had the opportunity to travel to 16 countries. I also attend the Baton Rouge International School, where I learn all my subjects in four languages. I am taught by teachers who are from all over the world and native to the language they are teaching the subjects in. I've learned that we all have the same dreams, hopes, aspirations, challenges, regardless of what country we come from, backgrounds, or even the language we speak. We all want to live in peace. We all want to have our needs met. We all want our families to be healthy and happy. My training taught me that we are all global citizens. We are all humans, and we are all one. Three, the importance of believing in and helping others. Now, I wonder sometimes what my dad initially thought about my mission. Did he think of me as another child who dreams to put on the little astronaut suit and go out and play the backyard adventure I had seen on TV? One day, I saw him shed tears when he saw that I was recognized with the highest Space Camp Award, the Right Stuff Award. He told me that he realized at that moment that nothing would stop me in my quest to go to Mars. He has been supporting me ever since my earliest memories. He has been my biggest supporter. And because of his belief in me, I am here in front of you today. And I am thankful for that. Yes, thank you. <laughs> all I needed was one person to believe in me completely, which led to all of the incredible people in my life that are part of this giant step for humankind. Who has been supporting you with your path? And what are you doing to support others? We need someone to help support us in our quest for our dreams, and in return, support someone with theirs. In conclusion, 15 years from today, I will be home, standing on red sand, looking up at the clear sky, looking for a little pale blue dot, looking for our planet Earth. I will be wondering about all of you, hoping you have continued to plant trees by believing in your dreams, by appreciating our human oneness, and by helping others. Never stop dreaming. 
Never give up. And never let anyone take your dreams away from you. This is a time of change, a time to take back home what you've learned here at the BBYO International Convention, and a time to plant the tree. I am Alyssa Carson, call sign Blueberry. We are the Mars Generation, and together we will. Thank you.